air from posit 1. All right, so what's up YouTube? It's another quick pickup video for you here today. And we have the Air From Posit 1. Now, if you notice in the title, I put Penny PE in quotes. And I'm gonna try not to rant about this because this is um, a shoe that was a colorway that was inspired by um, one of Penny's early PEs with the foam posit. And I say inspired by because Nike, for whatever reason, just took it upon themselves to do what they do sometimes and just make unnecessary changes. Um, changes for the most part that I'd say most of the people that would look, have been looking forward to this colorway, certainly the way I have for years upon years upon years, um, were very disappointed with the decision they made. Um, so anyway, basically, obviously we know Penny um, started wearing the foam posit, I'll, I'll keep it short. Penny started wearing the foam posit in between um, the Penny two and three. So basically during the 97 season, um, he stopped wearing the Penny 2s and I switched over to the foam posits. And during that time, um, yeah, he did wear the blue ones, but he also wore a white one. And he wore a black one that we know of at least once against the uh, Washington Bullets in DC. Um, but this obviously is gonna be inspired by the, the white one. Um, and the white one he wore is it's got some different details from this pair that they're calling Penny PE. Nike called it that. Um, just a lot of the, you know, sneakerhead shoe tube, you know, outlets just ran with it. I mean, I, su I suppose a lot of them just don't know the details of the backstory, so they're not asking any questions. They're just saying Penny PE and keeping it moving. Um, but anyway, these are, overall, it's the same shoe. Um, for the most part, it's just a lot of the details are different. Um, so we'll start with... These have a leather eye stay um, around the upper area here, so it's all all leather. Um, and the, the Penny PE and most foam posits have a Durabuck or like a synthetic Nubuck upper here. Um, and this is the one thing that I'd say is probably the biggest change that I didn't like and a lot of people other did, always didn't like. Um, and they're doing the same thing on the red foams that are supposed to drop this summer. Um, I'll leave that rant for that video when I get those. <laughs> um, but I mean my issue is number one it just doesn't because the leather has like a sheen and it reflects more than that um, the Durabuck does it, it doesn't look as dark it doesn't give that that dark contrast to the white foam posit or to whatever color the foam posit is that the, the normal material does that's the number one reason I don't like the leather um, and then also they decided to go with this like it's not it looks tumbled but I don't think this is actually tumbled. I'm pretty sure this is like um, what Jordan Brand does sometimes where they don't really tumble the leather. It's almost like they just stamp a pattern into it because it's so uniform. Like real tumble leather, they actually put it in a machine and tumble it and that's how it gets the wrinkles in it. But obviously it's not gonna tumble uniformly. So some areas might be more wrinkled than others. The wrinkles aren't going to be uniform. Like when, it, when I see this, it's like a uniform wrinkle. It's, like, it's almost like a like it's just a patterned leather and I, I just don't like the shit. It looks cheap to me, so I don't like it. Um, and then also, Penny's PE, this, um, 
this piece of nylon at the top of the eye stay here. You can see that it's, it's black on this pair. On his pair, it's white. Um, I'll try to insert some pictures so you can see them just in case you haven't seen them. Um, and then the other difference is the, um, the embroidery down the tongue. And then I believe the embroidery in the top of the pull tabs is also royal blue on his pair. Um, so those are basically the differences from the actual pair that he wore in terms of colors um, between that pair and this pair. If you want to go into real details, Penny was actually wearing a, a pre-production sample that was overall different than the GR composite, especially like around the toe. If you see the pictures, you'll see them, how the toe construction was, was way different, but that's for another video. Um, but for the most part, those are the main differences between, you know, his pair and then this pair. And the thing that really annoys me is because these were supposed to drop last year and they ended up dropping like the grade school and preschool pairs exactly like Penny's PE with the, the white Rand, the Royal Blue, the Durabuck, everything. And they just didn't drop them in men's and then we get it a year later and they make these changes. So it's like, like Nike, what's up? Like why? why? Like it, it doesn't make any sense. Um, but again, I mean, that's, that's part of the course dealing with Nike, You're always asking, you know, this, what are they doing? You know, some of the decisions they make just don't seem to make any sense. There's no rhyme or reason as to why they do some things, but <sighs> I mean, it's just, it's a part of the deal, <laughs> I guess. Um, but in, I mean, I would say I still bought them, so I still like them, you know, separate from what they're supposed to be or what they're quote inspired by. Um, it's still a really clean colorway with the white and the black. Um, I've seen a lot of people complaining about the white, the way it was painted on, um, because it has a, uh, like a, a cracked texture to it. Not, I, w I wouldn't go as far as to say it's similar to the way the like lost and found ones have like that cracked leather look, but it's kind of similar to it. Um, I mean, these are so stark white. Honestly, I don't know if the camera's going to be able to pick it up with that texture but it's uniform all across the white foam posit. It's like a, a cracked texture in there. Um, I've seen a lot of people that don't really like that, me personally, but because of the fact that it's so uniform and it's on every single pair, to me, it makes sense that they did it on purpose. So um, I'm not really tripping about it. It's pretty subtle. It doesn't really, like unless you're looking up close at the shoe, you're not even gonna notice it. Like until detailed pictures started coming out, I wasn't even noticed. Uh, I never even noticed it, um, so I, I kind of don't mind it. And then outside of that, I mean, it's basically a, a normal foam posit one. Um, but yeah, it's like the main thing is just like, why, bro, Nike? <laughs> why, why, why make the changes you made? Um, I know there was several other like Nike basketball shoes. I think the um, Zoom Flight 95, the more up tempo, that all released with like the same color scheme, like white, the black the football gray and the cobalt bliss. And they just decided to include the foam positive with that as opposed to just giving us the actual pair that they had samples of. Like they, if I can find the picture, I'll put it in the video. There was a men's sample of the Penny PE that they made for last year and they just decided to not release them in the men's and you know, do this a year later. So, um, but yeah, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Um, and these ended up, I was I was concerned because it had been so long since we had gotten foams. Like, um, we had the 2019 Swish foams, the all black foams in 2020. And I think since then we've only got, like until recently, we only had the, the pairs last year with that, it was like a collab. It was a white pair and a black pair that had like a different foam posit pattern. Um, um, and that was pretty much it until the recent, um, what was it, Dream of World? two pairs, the, the black pair and the gray pair. So I was a little concerned. Like, I don't know how, you know, how much demand is going to be for these. And then I wear 12 and a half from full posit. So it's like, mm, yeah, it's a rare size to try to get. So, um, I did just try to jump on. I actually didn't hit on, on sneakers. I ended up getting them on, um, on uh, lapstone and hammer. Lapstone and hammer is where I ended up getting this pair. Um, so for, for those of you that will be looking for foams, I know there's some more phones dropping, um, soon. Most people go true to size. Well, actually, some people go true to size. A lot of people actually go half a size up with foams just because the way the foam pot it is when you first get it, it's a really, it's a really snug tight fit. And then it takes time to break it in, not just the foam posit upper, but then the midsole 
that's double lasted. There, I mean, because this the foam pods that go straight to the outsole, there is a midsole in here, it's just double lasted, meaning the upper in this case, the foam pods that wraps over the midsole and goes straight to the outsole. Um, so for me, um, yeah, foam pods are they're, they're tough like initially, but once they're broken in, I mean, I have a pair of beater foams that I wear that are absolutely they're, they're so comfortable because I mean, it's a full it's full length zoom and double stacked in the heel. So foam pods are so comfortable once you break them in, um, but they are dandy to break in. Um, but just as far as sizing, um, most people or a lot of people go up half a size. You can't go true to size. For me, I don't have a wide foot. I have, but I'm not, I don't really have a narrow foot. I kind of have a thin foot, if that makes sense. Um, so like my true size is 13, but I kind of waffle between 12 and a half and 13, depending on the shoe. And then foam posits are one of the shoes that actually go down to the 12 and a half. Um, ma mainly because of the length, the 13, I feel it's a little too long for my taste. So I do go with the 12 and a half that works for me. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't want to, I don't want to rant too much, um, with these, with the changes they made. So yeah, that's it on the air foam posit one. Uh, just go ahead and drop me a comment. Did you cop? Do you mind the leather ups, um, the leather I stay or whatever with the changes they made? Um, and of course, if you like this type of content, uh, do all that good YouTube stuff for me. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.